Welcome to this edition of Off Script with myself, Jeff Shreves, and Jamie Carragher, sat in the glorious sunshine of Goodison Park. Jamie, although we're a little away from the Euros now, I'm just wondering, at what point do players' minds turn to the Euros and perhaps possibly, or before any major competition, start thinking, hmm, needs to be careful, don't want to get injured? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say I think about it a lot, but I actually think from possibly a Liverpool point of view, I think Liverpool have a few players in that, and I think the position Liverpool in, uh, but you know, the league and maybe still in the Champions League, uh, City as well, I don't think they should be thinking about it. I never thought about England at all, really, <laughs> to be honest. But, I mean, going into a tournament, I wouldn't be thinking now England or looking after myself. And, and I actually think, I used to think of, I used to always think of the Brazilians, actually. Uh, when I was a kid growing up and watching them playing, they'd always be the sort of stars, but a lot of them, they were never injured, they were always there. The same, uh, you'd watch like World Cups and always be the same players there all the time, they'd never miss World Cups. Uh, but, really. but, were you, but that was your mindset, but were you aware possibly of other players around you thinking about international football in the season? Maybe, you know, a, a tackle, maybe, in training, that sort of thing? Maybe. I mean, I used to listen to other people in the press and they'd be talking about the World Cup months before. And I used to find it strange. I, I found it disrespectful to the clubs they were playing at. Mm -hmm. I always thought, I mean, the biggest thing that used to wind me up was the fact that when Sven Goran Eriksson became England manager, he almost done a tour of the country. Remember, he, he was in different stadiums, he was getting clapped in, him and toured grip. And people knew where he was going to be before the game. And he'd have players in the press saying, oh, Sven's coming, you don't want to impress Sven. I'm like, don't impress your own manager. You're playing for you, make sure you're in your team next week. It was all this thing, and maybe that's why I didn't have a good England career. My England career was average, really. Yes, I'm proud of what I did, but I should have done, I wouldn't say I should have, but I could have done more, I think, really, if I look back at it. And maybe it was because was I wasn't like the be all and end all England. I always think it's is, is it that a because thing? club was more important to the country than you? Club was important, much more important to me, there's no doubt about that. But I don't know if it's a, a north south thing or. Down in London, I used to always feel like the players down south of the London clubs were really obsessed is the wrong way, but England was a big thing for them. To be to be to be in that, to be in the squad, to play for England was a big thing, almost bigger than the clubs, where I always felt this end of the country. I think maybe Gary Neville would be the same maybe with Manchester United. I'd certainly know here being here as a kid. Um, no one's thinking about England or talking about England and and I'd be to totally honest about you. When certainly supporters when I was growing up, certainly of this club or Liverpool. When your players went on international duty, you didn't want them to play well. You just didn't want them to get injured. Mm. That's all you thought about. It wasn't like, I hope this, this player plays well and, and the whole country loves them. That's, that, that's extraordinary. When you, when you think, think about the... Yeah. the, the uh, Not that I certainly don't disbelieve you. When you think about the fantastic players from the North and the North West who have played for England and had great England careers, what you're saying, that... It, it just maybe did, that didn't, have, didn't maybe. have the same... No, it didn't, if it didn't have the same meaning, it, it didn't have that. Listen... The, the, Players I'm talking about can only speak for themselves. I'm yeah. talking about as a group of people in terms of maybe more supporter-wise. I think Gary Neville would probably come where I am coming from. If you ask me now, would I rather have swapped Liverpool winning the Champions League in 2005 or won the World Cup in 2006? I'd rather have won the Champions League in 2005 at Liverpool. What about now? Would you rather Liverpool retain the Champions League than England won the Euros? Yeah, 100%. So it's still the same yeah. mentality pervading. Yeah. Just going back to what you were saying about when the England manager was in the stadium, what effect did it have on players in the game? Did you see players Listen, raise their I game? Rem I don't remember them sort of almost coming to Anfield. I'll be honest, it was Upton Park, and I think there was a lot of those young West Ham lads who all went on to have great England careers. I remember Sven Gordon Eriksson walking in, people talking about him before the game, and I, I couldn't get my head around it. Mm. And as I said, I, I, I didn't like it. Uh, Really, and you know what? But I go back to the England thing of my actual England career. Maybe I didn't achieve as much for England as an individual in terms of more caps, more starts, because of my mentality in that the club was the be all and end all. I missed the World Cup in 2002 through injury because I played on with an injury at Liverpool for about three or four months from Christmas onwards, and I needed a knee operation in the summer. Now I know a lot of people may have looked at that and thought. That was stupid. You should have got your knee operation in January and you'd been ready for the World Cup. Whereas my mentality was no, I'll play for Liverpool. I'll, listen, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't have got in the World Cup squad, but I'd rather have done that than being fit for the start of next season for Liverpool. That was my mentality. So put yourself, put your mind now in the bodies of both Harry Kane and Marcus Rashford because they'll be making decisions about when they come back, obviously with the advice of the club and the, and the medical department as well. But 
would you be thinking about getting back as soon as possible for your club and then if you didn't make it in the summer so be it no listen i think that's slightly different in that the i understand from their position they will be thinking of the euros because even if they come back for the clubs they're probably only going to play the last two or three games of the season now they may be vital but if i'm being totally honest i think both players are having the back of their mind that playing these games is almost like a, a, a mini pre-season in mm. terms of actually getting back for England. So they need to play. So, yeah, in, in some ways, I think they'll be trying to get back to maybe get some time on the pitch to help them for the summer. Because, listen, it, it is, I'm, not, I'm not trying to miss England at home in, a, in the European Championships. It is huge. It's almost almost a, a home uh, tournament, really. We've had great success going back to 66, uh, Euro 96, coming very close. So we've had great success. So there's a great opportunity that I'm sure English players who would normally be involved will want to be involved in trying to sample that. And, and again, Euro 96 and what just happened in the world a couple, a couple of years ago, I'm watching that as, as a young kid and then the last one almost like a supporter. It was brilliant that, you know, the country's bouncing. I'm not trying to like, say I'm not interested. I want them to do well and, and hope they do well. But again, my focus as a fan would always be the club and as a player would always be club and that, that will never change. Good stuff. As always, thank you, Jamie. Have you enjoyed this edition of Offscript?